The oil attack in Saudi Arabia has tensions in Middle East boiling over. The U.S. believes Iran was behind the attack and has increased economic sanctions on the country. Financial experts say the world's oil production took a big hit because of the attack. So, so how does this affect your wallet? Matt Gregory digs in. This week, we're digging into the attacks on the Saudi Arabian oil facilities. And whether you know it or not, it's going to be a problem for you. Briefly, what happened? Last week, Houthi rebels claimed they ordered targeted drone strikes on oil sites in Saudi Arabia. Although U.S. intelligence seems to believe it was Iran. Saudi Arabia supplies 12% of the world's oil production. And a sidebar, who do you think is number one? USA! USA! Didn't see that coming, did you? Now, oil and gasoline, while not the same, do share a parallel price path. When oil spikes, eventually gas prices aren't far behind. After these oil attacks, where will the price of gas go? Well, price per barrel jumped from $50 to around $60. According to gasoline experts, GasBuddy.com, that's a fun name, isn't it? According to GasBuddy, this will cause a 15 to 30 cent increase for your gas. So in DC, gas averages $2.59, so it could go as high as $2.89. In Northern Virginia, that price is $2.49, it can now be $2.79. And in Maryland, it's just $2.57, that could become $2.87. Now, experts expect this to be a short jump. And to use an old and tired phrase, it's gonna be pain at the pump. But compared to 2008, it's just an inconvenience, not a crisis. Coming up, a new initiative to prevent children from dying in hot cars. We're gonna explain up next. Plus, tomorrow is Museum Day across the country. We'll tell you how you can cash in on some of those great deals.